Why does this fucking camera have a picture option? I feel like Mike Falzone right now. There's this uh, graveyard that I walk to sometimes across this busy-ish street. Fucking so fat. Cheeseburgers, pizza. Anyway, I was lying in bed, much like Brian Wilson did, and I was thinking about how eloquently poetic it is that when I'm sad or upset about something, I selfishly and rudely visit a graveyard filled with a bunch of dead people. It's kind of rude. Listen, I'm using your family members' plots to contemplate my own life, but ever since I've lived in Georgia, it's something that I've done like a pretty, pretty decent amount of times, and it occurred to me that I wanted to tape it because I don't think I've ever really told anyone that I do it. And I'm not sure that anyone has really seen it. Come on! That's where we're going. We're going on a field trip. It's really hot, but we brought Tucker. So all is well with the world. Here's what I was talking about with the busyness. I feel like it's a great balance of death and life to have a graveyard right next to probably one of the busiest roads. It's very apropos. Okay, so here it is. I've been out here a few times, like in the middle of the night even. And, uh, you know, I think people always think of cemeteries and graveyards as scary things. And I guess they can be. For some reason, this one has never freaked me out. It's always just been like a, like a meditation spot. Like some people do yoga or uh, pray. I come here and peruse the headstones and think about my life and my dog. Right, love? Oh my god. Look at it, Oog! Made a splash onto the sky Stars stayed up till morning Splash onto the sky, stars stayed up till morning. <laughs> <laughs>